Hello, my name is Michael Gabianelli, and welcome to another episode of Workout Wednesdays. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a parkour workout. Parkour is a sport that has come up recently, and uh, the sport is centered around moving fluidly through obstacles. Um, And so normally this is in an urban setting, so kind of like in a city people moving through the city fluidly and the different obstacles that might come arise there like handrails or ledges or walls and all that that different kind of stuff and so parkour is a very dynamic sport that requires your whole body and today we're going to be doing a workout to kind of target the 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 body as what, how we use it when we're doing parkour um so for today's workout, you're not really going to need much. You're going to need a water bottle um, just so that when you get thirsty, you don't got to go far. You're going to need your workout space. Um, so if you take a look back here, you might be able to see there's an orange cone down there on the ground. Um, that's going to be my workout space because I'm going to set up a, like an area that I can move around in because a lot of our workouts today are going to be movement-based. And so that is the area that I have, um, but where you are, just make sure you have a good area for you to follow along with these workouts. Great. So once you have everything there, we're going to get into our warm-up. And so let's get started on our warm-up, and we're going to start with 25 jumping jacks. One. Okay, and that's some arm circles. Get our bodies warmed up. Elbow circles. Again, if this one's kind of tough, um, you can always pump the iron, right, and move those elbows. But what we're doing here, it's called dynamic stretching. We want to warm up all of our joints, all of our muscles, so that when we get into our workout, we're not going to hurt ourselves. Okay, wrist stretch. Those wrists moving. Okay, hips. Bringing them around town. Remember, you could always tick tock back and forth here as well, forward and back, side to side. Again, we just want to move those hips. We want to get every joint we can moving nice and fluidly. Okay, now we'll get into our lower back. I like to do my boxing stance and twist. Okay, knees, feet together, and we're going to bend those knees. Again, this one can be kind of tricky, so if just doing a big march, moving those legs like that works better, you can do that too. So whatever works best. If you're rotating, remember to do both directions. All right. Now we're going to do... Some ankles, loosen those ankles up, and then the other foot. Make sure we're doing both feet. Okay, and then once I'm done with that, I like to shake it all out. All right, now that we're warmed up, it's going to be time to start our workout. Okay, to start the workout, we are going to be getting into two different sections of movement today. So the first section is what we're going to call quadrupedal movement. You might say, what the heck is that? Well, quadrupedal movement is 
moving on all fours. And so again, as parkour is obstacle based, um, you're, uh, you're going to be ducking and going underneath different obstacles. And so that's where that quadrupedal movement is going to come in. And the type of quadrupedal movement we do when we're doing parkour is dependent on the obstacle that we are trying to uh, overcome or go under. Um, so the first thing we're going to do are four different quadrupedal movement styles. Um, I will demonstrate each of those, um, and for each of them, we're going to be doing 20 laps, and so that's where we're going to set our location, and so we'll have that set. We're going to go to and from, and each time we do that, that's going to count as one lap in our set. So for each, each workout, when we're doing our reps, our laps, we want to do 20 of those, and we're going to do two sets today. So that means we're going to do all of these workouts two times. Okay, so the first thing in the first kind of quadrupedal movement you might might find out there or we're going to do in our workout today is the bear crawl. So, um, sounds exactly like it like it is. We're going to get on all fours like a bear. I'm going to bend my knees, my feet are on the ground, and my hands are on the ground, you can see. And I'm going to crawl up to my cone, and I'm going to come back. And that's going to be one lap. So we're going to do 20 laps of that. Again, the bear crawl, you want your feet on the ground and your hands on the ground. You're going to be kind of galloping like a bear does, moving one your hands and then your feet. So let's see that one one more time. Again, we're going to move our hands and feet. Hands and feet. And we're going to come back. Great. If you need to take breaks between each lap, that's okay. If you need to adjust the lap numbers so that you can do all of these workouts, that is also great. So remember, we can always adjust the workout to meet our ability. So again, adjust those laps if you need to. Um, and take breaks if you need to as well. Okay, so that's our first workout. It's going to be the bear crawl, 20 laps. Um, once we're done with the bear crawl, we're going to go into the Kong. So the Kong is a way of vaulting over objects. Um, great way to learn it's right here down on the ground. So, again, we're going to reach with our hands and jump. So again, we're reach, jump. I like to think about it like a like an ape or a gr gorilla crawls around on the ground. So it's slightly different than the bear crawl in that we're going to reach out with both of our hands and then bring our feet up behind us. Again, with that Kong, make sure that your laps uh, uh, match your ability. So if you feel like you need to take fewer laps, that's fine. If you need to take a break between each lap as well, that is totally fine. Try to do as many as you can before you take that break, though. Okay, so next quadrupedal movement we're going to do is the army crawl. So the army crawl... It's down on the ground, so if you got to get under something really, 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 really low, you're going to lay down, elbows on the ground, and you're going to crawl using your knee and your hips. And you're going to crawl all Turn around at your cone, go around your cone, and come back. And I'm army crawling the whole way. Again. That army crawl, you're going to use your elbows, you're going to use your knees, you're going to use your core, move along, move your body along the ground. Um, belly, right on the ground. So you want to be right on the ground for that army crawl. Great. Again, 20 laps of that army crawl. If you can do more, do more. If you can, you got to do a little less, do some less. That's okay too. All right. So. We have one more type of quadrupedal movement that we are going to learn today, and that is going and learn and practice today in our workout, and that is going to be the spider crawl. So this one's kind of tough. We'll show you some different tactics. So when I'm on here and I'm doing want to do the spider crawl, what you're gonna do is really low to the ground, but you notice my feet are gonna stay touching the ground, right? So when I'm spider crawling, I'm really low, but my feet are touching the ground, so my belly is not touching the ground with that spider crawl. 
spider crawl is kind of like a low, a low bear. You really want to keep your body as low as you can as you do that. Again, we're going to do that spider crawl out and back from that point we set in our workout space, and that's going to be our lap. We're going to do 20 laps of the spider crawl as well. Remember to get some water when you're thirsty. Okay, we are moving right along on this workout. So, we are going under objects when we use that quadrupedal movement. And so, parkour is also going up and over objects. So, normally what we're going to do to get up and over those objects is we're going to jump. And there are three main jumps that we're going to practice today and use for our workout. So, let's get started with the first one. So, the first jump, guys... He's going to be your two. Now I'm going to start back here so you guys can kind of see with these jumps. And so the two footed long jump, feet shoulder width apart, knees bent. I'm going to use my arms and I'm going to explode and jump. I want to jump as far as I can, but notice I want to land softly. I want to land on my feet. And I want to land with my knees bent, and I want to land kind of like a ninja, right? Really quiet. Again, jump. Okay, so that's our two-footed long jump. We are going to do, again, 20 laps of that two-footed long jump. So wherever that spot on the floor is that you set, I want you to jump to that spot and jump back, and that's going to be one lap. And then I want you to do that 20 times. Okay, so... That's for a standing still jump, so when you're jumping from a standing position. But you might often be running or moving when you're jumping in parkour as well. So, when doing that, we're going to do what we call a one-footed leap, or what they also call a tack. So, to tack, or leap. I'm going to, again, start back at my point here so you guys can see me, and I'm going to jump. And I want to move laterally. I want to move forward, but also on a diagonal. So I want to jump out and across. And again, I want to try to move as far over as I can and as far forward as I can. So jump as big as you can. And then we're going to land on that opposite leg. So again, let's do that one more time, guys. I'm going to jump from my right leg. Land on my left leg. Jump, land. Jump with my left leg. Land on my right leg. Jump, land. Nice job. Great. Okay, and I'm going to do that again 20 laps. So I'm going to go back and forth on that point on the ground 20 times with that jump. All right. And then jump is what we would do if we were jumping over an object coming by us and or if we just need to get up and over a really high obstacle. So we did our two-footed long jumps. Now we're going to do are two-footed high jumps. And so just like the long jump, you want to have a nice stance, shoulder width apart, arms ready. You're going to use those arms, right, to throw throw some momentum in the direction you want to go, jump. And for this one, we're going to jump as high as we can. Get those knees up. And I want you to do that 20 times. So again, we're going to jump as high as we can 20 times. Jump. Great. So that's the two-footed standing high jump. And that's going to be the final workout uh, or exercise of our workout today. So again, very active workout. Make sure you guys have space to do this. And I'd recommend being outside if possible, just so you can set up a nice area for you to move around freely and really get into these exercises. But if you got to do it inside, that's fine too. But make sure that you don't have things in the area that you're going to bump into or knock into because you don't want to hurt yourself as you're working out. Great. Good job today. Hopefully you guys got a sweat. I know I did. We'll see you guys next week for another Workout Wednesday.